Welcome to the second part of our second video with data structures and algorithms. And we're going to use the definition of big omega to prove that 6n squared minus 25n plus 30 is big omega n squared. Okay, meaning that n squared is a lower bound on uh, 6n squared minus 25n plus 30. Okay, so uh, first off, we need to do some side work. So let's label that here as side work, so we don't get confused, side work. Okay, and this won't be uh, in our proof, this work that we do here. It's not gonna be part of our proof. So let's give ourselves some room. Let's plug this into the definition, right? So we have uh, 6n squared minus 25n, plus 30 is less, oh, whoops, sorry, that's big O, is greater than or equal to a times n squared for all n, uh, sorry, that's kind of messy, for all n greater than or equal to b, right? Now, just like we've done before, let's try something, right? Let's try uh, a equals to 1. Now, Let's plug that in and see uh, what uh, what it looks like. So we have 6n squared minus 25n plus 30 is greater than or equal to n squared for all n greater than or equal to b. All right, we're a little closer here. So this kind of looks like, um, one of those uh, equations where you have to solve for the intersection, right, of, uh, of the x-axis, if you will, or the n-axis uh, in our case, right? Where does it equal to zero at, right? Where does this function equal to zero? So let's minus n squared from both sides. We have 5n squared minus 25n plus 30 is greater than or equal to zero. There it is. Now with a little bit of math, we can find that 5n, 5n minus uh, 15 times n, what, minus 2? Yeah, is greater than or equal to 0. And if we solve for 0, right, we find that n uh, should be greater than or equal to 3. We're trying to find this b here. And that n should be greater than or equal to, oops, sorry, should be less than or equal to 2. Right, in our case. Now, why did I choose these? Let's look at this for a second. We didn't really show the math here, but I'm gonna show you uh, more on a more visual way. Here's our n axis, and here's f of n. And let me give it a different color. So our function here kind of looks like this, or actually this function here kind of looks like this, something like this. Sorry, it's a terrible uh, drawing, but you get the idea. Okay, and we found these points here. Okay, this is uh, three, and this is two. Now, we chose n greater than three, right, because it's positive here, okay? Why did we choose n to be less than two, right? Well, because again, it's positive here as well. But we're gonna see that we're gonna end up using this value instead, right, for our b, uh, because the other ones don't, the other one doesn't make sense. First of all, here, right, this stuff is negative, right? Our f of n is negative. So if we were using this function uh, in the sense of uh, running times, right, which is kind of what we're doing, uh, this is, would be a negative running time. RT running time, which doesn't make sense, uh, right? So that doesn't make any sense. Here, this doesn't make any sense either, really, because uh, this is saying that our running time is increasing when our uh, input size is decreasing. So another another way to put that, and maybe put it into a, an example, is that let's say we have a function that's or uh, an algorithm that sorts uh, an array of numbers, well, this would be, this would tell us that our algorithm sorts 
five elements faster than it sorts one element. So that doesn't make any sense, right? So this is what we are looking at is this spot. So we're gonna choose n greater than three, right? To be our b. That's the safest uh, choice for us here. So let's put this into a proof. So let me just scroll down a bit and we will use some of these things to show this. So here's our proof. Okay, and this might be a little bit of a loose proof, but uh, you'll get uh, the idea. So we're gonna say let A equal to one and B equal to three. Okay, and we know that B and A are, I'm just gonna put positive constants. Okay, you have to be a little bit more formal than I'm being here, but uh, you know what I'm doing. Okay, so those are positive constants, okay? And we've chosen some values for those. Now, we're gonna say that if n, right, is greater than or equal to b, which is three in our case, right, then the following things are true, right? Then, you should probably write that out, but I'm not going to. Um, then we know that n uh, minus three, right, is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, that kind of comes from this here. I'm kind of doing some of the math that I didn't show here, but I think you, uh, you should probably know that by now, right? Uh, so we know that, and if that's true, right, then if we multiply everything, this whole equation by five, then this is true, right? Then we have five n minus 15 is greater than or equal to zero, right? Those things should hold. Also, I'll put also, uh, n minus two should also be greater than or equal to zero, right? So that's kind of how we found uh, this one, okay? Now, if we have all these facts, we can kind of put these together and we're gonna reconstruct our uh, equation kind of backwards, okay? So we have, uh, we can say then, and you might write some other stuff, but then we know that 5n minus 15 times n minus two, uh, I'm actually gonna do this just in case you guys are still trying to figure that out, that probably will help, right? Is greater than or equal to zero, okay? And now, if we continue on, here, then we can uh, multiply this out and we have 5n squared minus 25n plus 30 is greater than or equal to zero, right? And uh, we also, uh, we can keep going further and we can add uh, n squared to both sides and it should still be the same, right? So we have 6n squared minus 25n plus 30 is greater than or equal to n squared, right? So this should all be true because we've shown that all these things are right are greater than or equal to zero when n is greater than uh, or equal to three. So all of these things still hold throughout uh, for this, right? Okay, very cool. So what do we do with this now? Well, we can kind of just uh, close this out, or let's add this actually, let's say for all, oops, that's the totally the wrong way, for all n greater than or equal to three, okay? Or, yeah, we can say three, because that's what we set up here. So, we'll say thus, uh, 6n squared minus 25n plus 30 is greater than or equal to n squared, we kind of have to reiterate here, trying to be a little bit more formal, for all n greater than or equal to three, we just kind of copied the line. Sometimes you do that in proofs, I don't know, maybe you don't. Okay, and we will say, and we have shown, right, and we've shown that, uh, oh, we'll say this, we've shown by the definition by the definition of big omega that f of n 
is greater than or equal to a times g of n for all n greater than or equal to b uh, where f of n is equal to 6n squared minus uh, 25n plus 30 and g of n is equal to n squared and a is equal to 1 and we'll say and b is equal to 3 and again you can uh, do a little QED. Okay, there we go.